Yeah. So it was just like a basic example I gave. So like if someone's like, I comes in with knee pain with squatting and I watch them squat, right. They can get down into the position because like their structure allows them to do so. Um, but they collapse inward, like trying to reverse it, right. Come back up. So they have a force production issue. Like the solution could really be as simple as identifying what their joint motion capabilities are allowing them to do and setting up the squat to, to account for that. So putting right. constraints on the exercise. So like right. as simple as literally if they start losing it at 80 degrees of hip flexion, put a box there because the box is going to give them something to, it's going to give them a target first of all, but it's going to stop their descent downward. And it's going to give them the opportunity to create a concentric contraction and reverse everything upward. Uh, so I guess what I was saying was that it could really be as simple as that from an application standpoint, but that that aspect of things gets misconstrued um, by how people are exposed to this information. So from like Instagram or like YouTube yeah. or whatever, whatever it might be.